morning puffins and penguins. I'm very excited today because we are going to start our big write in English. This is going to be over two whole days. So you're going to be writing a full story and it's not just retelling the story of Hannah's surprise. You're going to be writing about your own little surprise that Hannah had in her basket. So over the past couple of days, we've been writing an alternative story all about a new surprise in Handa's basket that she's going to take to Akeo. We decided we did not want fruit in our basket anymore. We wanted something different. So I decided that I wanted some clothes in the basket. And along the way, the animals were going to take different items out of the basket. Now, yesterday, you had a practice at really popping your author hats on and writing some fabulous sentences about the items in the basket. You used your adjectives to describe, to make your story really exciting. And you're going to need to use some of those skills today to rewrite your full story with those new surprises in. I've already written a few sentences for my story. Let me read it to you. On one sunny morning, Handa decided to go and visit her friend Akeo. She decided to surprise her by bringing her a basket of clothes. Do you see how I've changed it? On her journey, she met lots of different animals. Hmm. Now, I've got my success criteria here and along the way, as I'm writing, I'm going to be ticking off to check that I've done my very best P-star writing. Just looking at these here, I can see that I have used capital letters. I definitely always use my Fred Fist sounds. I've used my finger spacers to separate my words and I've used my full stops. Now, as I carry on my writing now, it's very important that I use my time connectives and that I use my adjectives to make my story pop. Now, I know that first, a very cheeky animal came to see what's in my basket. I'll grab my mini story. Now, in Handa's surprise, the monkey took the banana. In my story, the monkey took the blue fluffy jumper. So that's going to be my first sentence in my story today. First, my time connective. First, the monkey. First. The monkey took the blue fluffy jumper. Two adjectives. Blue fluffy jumper. What do I need at the end of my sentence, puffins and penguins? You're right, full stop. Now, I've used my time connective first. And I have used blue fluffy to describe my jumper. So I have used my adjectives. Let's do one more sentence together. In our original story, an ostrich takes the guava. Now, my ostrich did not take the guava in my story. My ostrich took the sock. My ostrich took the small soft sock. Next, the ostrich took the small soft sock. Next, I'm using my time connectives. Next, the ostrich took the small Soft sock. What do I need at the end of my sentence, puffins and penguins? You're right, full stop. Okay? As I go through,
through to retell my full story this time, I'm going to try my absolute best to use as many time connectives as I can and as many adjectives as I can. You've got two sheets to help you today. You have one sheet with a list of time connectives on that you can choose to use in your writing. You also have a hand of surprise word map so that you have all the words of the animals and you have some of your common exception words that you might need in your writing. We want to hear some brilliant stories. Think creatively, be storytellers and tell us something that was in your basket that we never would have guessed. Let's see if you can do a brilliant piece of writing. Now, last thing before you go, we are going to stop when we get to the elephant, okay? So when you get to the elephant in your story, you're going to pause because tomorrow you're going to carry on with your big write and tell the reader about what your giraffe took, what your antelope took and what your parrot took. Okay, so you're going to have a go at finishing it off tomorrow. So you're not writing it all today. We want it to be your best piece of writing. So only do half the story today and half the story tomorrow. Give yourself a little break in between so that your writing is top notch when you've finished it. Okay, have a go Puffins and Penguins. We're really excited to see the finished result. See you later.